Today's video is going to be another DIY room decor video because you guys seem to really like these videos so I figured I'd make another. And I actually picked up a few pieces that I used in this video from my local thrift store so I highly encourage you guys to go check out your local thrift store and see what cool pieces they have because you can always paint things and redo things and it's so much fun and it's always really inexpensive compared to like buying something at Michael's and stuff. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you're new here and this is the first time you've seen my face, go ahead and click that subscribe button so you don't miss a future video and you can follow me on my social media up here. I love seeing you guys on Twitter and Instagram and definitely on Snapchat. So yeah, definitely follow me on there and let's hop into the video. The first thing that I'm going to be sharing with you guys in this DIY video is this tray that I found at the thrift store and basically all I'm doing is repainting it because that's all I really wanted to do to it but I found this for two dollars and it was such a good find so I started off by painting the inside purple and I actually left the exterior all its natural wood color because I thought it looked good and I also didn't really have that much paint so that's why I left it and I found that using a sponge paintbrush worked so much better on the wood than a regular paintbrush and I did two coats of this lilac color just to make sure everything was super opaque and nice and smooth and then just to finish it off and to give it a little bit of a metallic touch I added a copper lining to the top of the tray you guys know I love the color copper so I had to include it in this and that is basically the completed tray this is such a versatile decor piece and I think the pop of lilac is really fun for the springtime and like I said you can pretty much use this tray for anything so definitely check your local thrift store for something like this The next DIY is super, super affordable and really easy to do. All you're going to need is a jar from your local dollar store and then a black sharpie or really whatever color you want. And all I did was draw some eyelashes, like some eyes looking down and then the lashes and then a cute little nose. And that's basically all I did to this one. I think it's so cute and I've seen this one on Pinterest and I thought it was too adorable to not recreate in this video. This makes a really great storage container for your cotton rounds and your q-tips in your bathroom or on your makeup vanity. I just think it's so cute and it keeps them really nice and protected and everything but also really accessible. So yeah, that is basically the entire DIY. Super easy, super affordable, and it's super cute. Keeping with the lashes theme, I went ahead and painted some lashes similar to the ones we saw on the jar onto just a plain white canvas that I got at the dollar store. I've seen this print a few places on the internet and I thought that it'd be really fun to recreate it just because it's super easy and you know, I'm not the best painter but I feel like I did an okay job with this one and all you're gonna need is a white canvas and some black paint and a thin paintbrush. So yeah, go ahead and try this one or really just I encourage you to paint anything you want because painting is really fun, really relaxing and you feel really good when it's on like a big canvas like this. It's super fun. So yeah, that's basically all I did. Just made sure everything was pretty even and somewhat symmetrical and then I went ahead and hung it up in my bedroom and I think this is really cute and if you do live with a boyfriend or you know your significant other you can also do like a mustache one and then put them side by side I think that's a really cute idea as well and I just really like the look of this I think it's really you know simple but also really cute And this last DIY decor piece is definitely the most tedious but also really cool once you're finished. So the first thing you want to do is double knot some twine to both ends of a wooden dowel. This is going to be how you're going to hang your decor piece once you are finished and yeah that is basically just the first step. Once you have that down go ahead and take your twine and start cutting that into strands. You want to make sure they're all even and you want to make sure you cut a bunch of them because you're basically going to be using those to fill up the entire dowel. So go ahead and make sure those are all even and that you have a bunch of them. And then once that's done, you can go ahead and start putting them onto your dowel. So all you have to do is take your string, fold it in half kind of, and then put it over the dowel and then pull it through and then slide it over, pull it tight, and then 
just add a knot to it. It's really hard for me to explain, so hopefully you guys can see in the video and that's basically how you do it and you wanna do that to all your strands to fill up the entire dowel. The next step is to make the tassel. So take your friendship string and unravel a long piece of that and then take the bunch of them and cut that in half to make two tassels. And then once you have that done, you should have a crease in the center and that is where you're gonna tie your long piece of string and you should have some excess and that is how you're gonna hang your tassel. Go ahead and cut off the excess of that and then flip it over and then tie a knot again and cut off the excess of that. That is what is going to make the little pom-pom of the tassel. And once you have that done, just take your scissors and trim off the bottom of the tassel. This is gonna make it look really even and sharp. And once that's done, all you have to do is tie it onto your dowel and just make sure that all the spaces in between are even if you are kind of following a pattern and make sure that the length is matching up with the other tassels if that is what you wanna do. But that basically completes this DIY. I've seen this one a few times on Pinterest and Urban Outfitters and different websites like that and I just thought it'd be a super fun DIY to do for the springtime, especially with the pops of color and it's also really fun to do when you're just, you know, watching some TV shows and chilling. Did you like it? I hope you did. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up so more people can find this video and find my channel. That would be really awesome. And yeah, go ahead and subscribe to my channel before you leave and I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great day. Bye!